Okay, you guys, we are so excited to show you this room because I wanted to show a room that had a ton of color and how do you wrestle with doing a room that has wild color walls. This orange is one of my secret weapons. It's in the buying guide and I love it because it looks sunny and warm in the summer and spring and it looks cozy and yummy in the fall and winter. So it really is an all season color. And one of the things I wanted to show you is so often when you do really bold walls like this, people get really scared to use very colorful art. They think that they need to use neutrals and that's really not the case. And so in this case, we use the complement of orange. So blue is the complement of orange, which means they make each other look better. And so this beautiful piece of art had this really yummy turquoise and some cobalt notes running through it. And I loved it against the orange. This is flawless. I want this piece of art. And then on this piece of art, again, it has some blue notes running through it, these really pretty cobalts running through in the lines, which again are complementary with the orange. So I thought these two were great. And when you're pairing art like this, go ahead and make them both very large scale. Let them have a conversation and a great dialogue across the room. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys in the room that I love so much is that we mixed two movements of furniture. And I wanted to show you two that are best friends. They're related and they're best friends, and that is federal and mid-century. And why are they related? Federal furniture is very stripped down and angular. It's not real fussy. It works perfectly with mid-century furniture because mid-century furniture is very stripped down too. It's kind of taking the furniture to its essence. And so these two, when paired with one another, really do look beautiful. And it's a great way, especially if you inherit a sideboard from a relative or something like that, it's a great way to start giving it a little bit of a modern breath of fresh air. This is a reproduction and so is this, but I, I love these two together. The next thing that we did was we went really bold with the chandelier and why not? The room already has a lot going on in it and it could stack up to the orange. So they're kind of having a, an equal balance in the room. You don't have to kind of wimp out with the chandelier, just go for it. And then with the rug, I wanted to introduce something in the room that felt a bit more whimsical, a bit more modern. And I also loved that it had this almost oval shape that echoed the shape of the table. So this was something that was happening in the room that I thought was really beautiful and you may not even notice it when you walk in, but it was very carefully considered. The next thing that we did was I love putting art floor to ceiling. And so this is one of our favorite artists. She's in the buying guide as well. But I thought, let's just make this, instead of having just one or even two, let's make this run the length of the room. It's so interesting and it's kind of a great conversation starter. But the other reason that we picked this art is look how well it goes with the rug. So it's these carefully considered things that make a room kind of sing and feel effortless. And the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is this amazing table. So even the plates are fused patterns together. They're, they look like two different patterns that have been matched up. Everything is kind of hodgepodge together and it feels effortless and artistic. And I love this trick and hope you guys will try it in your dining room as well. So we're obsessed with this room. We hope you guys love it. It was so easy to throw together and I think you guys are gonna have fun playing with these pieces in your own house.